If you have a dog or a cat, usually this is the time of year when you'd be checking them for ticks and getting your pet ready for tick season. But this year isn't like other years. Joining us now to talk about the challenges and what pet owners should be doing is, oh, this is, uh, well, is going to be coming up, is veter veterinarian Dr. Larry Wilder. He is with us. Good morning to you, doctor. How are you? Good. Good morning, how are you? I'm great. Okay, so in the time of COVID-19, you say it's more important than ever for pets to be on preventative medications for ticks. Why? Well, with uh, social distancing, with um, uh, the stay-at-home regulations that we have in place, people are spending more and more time with their pets, um, not only outside, uh, playing with them in the backyard, but also parks, um, ravines, farms, even at their cottages, and those are the havens for where these ticks live and breed. One of the most common diseases ticks can carry is Lyme disease. Now, you've already had two cases of dogs with Lyme disease at your clinic this year. Talk That's to me correct. about what the symptoms that we should be keeping an eye on uh, if our, you know, it, it, so that we can protect our pets. What, what, what should we be looking out for? Excellent question. Um, the main symptoms that you're going to see uh, would be things like fever, um, joint pain and swelling, often lethargy, um, and even um, inappetence or loss of appetite. Now, let's remember that these ticks um, spread or shed a bacteria that goes through the bloodstream, so it can affect any organ, uh, especially the kidneys as well. So increased drinking, urination, those types of things are also in, important to lock, uh, watch for. I myself am the proud new owner of a puppy. What's the best way? I, I've never done it before. So what's the best way for me to check for ticks on my dog? Do we do it after a walk outside? How often should we be doing it as well? Well, pretty much uh, remember if they're going to parks or ravines, um, leaf uh, sort of leaf um, area, leafy areas, bushes, um, all those types of things. So you should be checking them after every walk. Uh, remember that these ticks can be the size of a head of a pin to start. So it's much easier on, uh, let's say, a yellow lab to, uh, uh, to check them. But when they're running through the parks or ravines, think of these areas, the ears, uh, around the face and muzzle, in between the toes. Um, think of that they're lying down in um, uh, leaf piles, uh, so the groin and belly areas. Those are the important areas to check for. Uh, lastly, doctor, is there a risk of any tick-borne diseases in animals being passed to humans? Uh, great question. Ticks carry um, uh, a plethora of bad diseases, uh, both for people and pets. The good news is, not great news, but the good news is if your pet contracts uh, Lyme disease or Lichia or anaplasmosis or any other of these uh, tick-borne diseases, they cannot be transmitted to pets or to people by your pet. Dr. Wilder, thank you for this important information. We appreciate your time. Thank you. Thanks for watching. If you like this, be sure to subscribe here. And you can check out more Your Morning videos right here.